reached the island. Hello. How is everyone? I am fine. I'm taking a week off to relax and reorganize and recoup and, you know, remember that studio I'm in right now? It was so well organized and beautiful. You don't even want to see it now. You just, you just don't. It is, yeah, pretty bad. So I'm going to be reorganizing and cleaning out closets and throwing crap out and putting shit away and all that. I wish I had something, you know, to show you how to do, but I don't. The little bit of time I had when they were kicking my ass at work, I used to make, make things for people I love, mainly Ashley. Um, but I did want to show you this necklace, this pendant that I finished and this is that layered bezel and this one has I don't even remember now one two three four layers and it's very textured and that's the effect I was going for I wanted lots and lots of texture and I think I got it I kind of liked it like it I just put it on this chain because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put it on. I wanted to bead something, but I just, I don't know. I didn't want it overpowering this part. Uh, if you have suggestions, let me know. A little bit of loopy fringe here. Not sure if I should have made it longer. Basically an experiment, but it came out okay. I kind of like it. It's different. It's, it's very, um... Game of Thronish. <laughs> Something like that. And Ashley wanted a she was telling me she she has these diaper bags. She had a new baby who's adorable. Sean is darling, by the way. Um so fat. He's so cute. Um but she's carrying around these big giant diaper bags and she's not a new mom. This is her second baby, so she kinda knows what she's doing now. She wanted a backpack. For a diaper bag, and I happened to have one at work that was accidentally scrapped. Yes, it was an accident. And it's black. She didn't care what color. And I beaded a, I put some bead embroidery on it for her. That really came out nice. I'm happy with it. So she can carry this around, put all her baby crap in it. When she comes over, and then, I, what I wanted to do, I looked everywhere for a hat. Just a plain white hat, because I wanted it a lady's style. And the only white hats we had at work are stock hats, and I didn't want to pay for one. I just wanted a, a sample white hat. And all the sample hats have crap on them already from the manufacturer. Kind of bummed me out. So we did have a blank black visor. And this, I made a little bead embroidered applique to put on the front. That's kind of cute, except black is not, I don't know, I guess some girls like it. But when you're out on the golf course, white reflects the light and black absorbs it. So, again, another experiment. Came out okay. I kind of like it. And that made me think of, I didn't bring it in here, but I'm going to make calves, I'm going to try anyway, haven't had time yet, of a golf ball, just part of a golf ball, like the for quarter golf ball that I can beat around and put on a hat for the ladies because I know ladies that love to golf. I used to golf when I was very young. I never really loved it, but because I grew up in a golf family, I had to play. <laughs> so I know all about golf. I just, it's just not my, in a sport I love. So we'll see how this turns out. I'll put some white mica in there to make it white. 
But some balls are lime green and some are bright pink because some of these crazies play in the snow. They really do. Um, I don't know, I might make a bright pink one. But I'll start with a white one and see how this turns out for a hat. I think it'd be very cute. Um, and then I'm thinking, well, I'll show you. I'll figure it out and I'll show you. What else? Oh, I finished her shoes. Ashley's shoes are very cute. She's coming to pick up all this stuff tomorrow, and now I can't wait to beat another pair. Either for me or for my daughter, Samantha. Um, maybe both of us. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. And that's pretty much it. I really, I've just been busy working and finishing up these little projects I had at home. And people have been requesting all over the place for cabochons, so I'm probably going to make some cabochons to sell at Etsy. On Etsy, if I do, I'll let you know. But this house is a disaster. It has junk everywhere that I have. I just have to take care of it. So I'll be doing that. And if I think of anything uh, fun to show you, I'll show you. I've had a terrible past couple of weeks. Um, my debit card information was stolen and some asshole in New Jersey charged over $200 worth of crap at Bed Bath & Beyond. And um, yeah, so they canceled the charges, but a check I wrote to a finance company, um, I mean they paid the check, but they still charged me an NFS charge which I have to go take care of. I'm just pissed. It's just pit. Don't you know? Don't they know? I mean, they know why. It's why. Why are they trying to rip me off? Why do they take advantage of people who have been victimized by thieves at the bank? Why do they do that? Why are they making me waste my time to go down there and fight with them about this charge that I shouldn't have been charged? I'm really pissed off about it. It's just incompetence and you see it everywhere in society lately. I'm just sick of it. I really am. So pissed. And I think I have to go get my brakes checked, and I need my oil changed, and I need all this stuff that I never have time to do because I'm always busy working. So, But I'll be back. Um, take care of yourselves. Have a uh, nice weekend. I hope your holiday was really great. Mine was okay. And you own what you know. Be your own boss. I can hardly see anything here. And um, you own your life. It's yours. Don't make insecurity your standard. Be your own man, so to speak. I'll talk to you later. Bye!